This is lesson number 55 in Algebra 2, Advanced Abstract Equations, Word Problems, and Quadratic Equations. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to look at ab ab advanced abstract equations. The key word there is abstract, meaning that there are no numbers in the equation at all. It's just variables, just letters. So the first example they have here is this here. Now, if you remember, when you solve um, equations that have fractions in them, you always find a common denominator. And what we did in the past is we'd say, okay, what do I have over here that I'm missing here in M? So I multiply top and bottom by M. And then I look here and see what am I missing here that I have over here, and that's an X. So top and bottom by X. Okay. When you've got two variables here, just an X and just an M, you don't have to go through all that. You can, but you don't have to because your common denominator will always be the product of your denominators like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the entire equation, including both sides of the equal sign, by XM. All right, and when we do that, let's just go ahead and write it out. just distributing the x the xm and don't forget to do it over here and then when we do that we can cancel that and that and that and that and notice we canceled both denominators so we're left with am plus xy equals xmc okay first of all we got to figure out what in the world we're trying to do here um, Let's say that they gave us this equation here. I got kind of ahead of myself. Um, and they want us to solve for x. So we have to get rid of everything except the x on one side of the equal sign, which means let's get rid of the fractions, and that's what I did right here. Then we get all the x's together. These two both have x's in them. So let's subtract xy from both sides. And we get am equals xm c minus x y okay and the reason I did that is because then both of my terms over here have x's in them and I can actually then factor out my x's and just have m c minus y now why did I do that well because now this is multiplied times this whole group here so that means if I divide both sides by mc minus y, I have just gotten my x by itself because those cancel and I end up with x equals am over mc minus y. Okay, so we're going to use that same procedure for every one of these that we do in this lesson and this is a, a pretty short lesson so um, there aren't like tons and tons of different more difficult problems. We'll get into those later. Let's try the next example, 55.1, and we have A, let me get my pen working, A plus B over X plus Y over M equals K. And what they want us to solve for here is solve for M. So that's what we're solving for. We're going to, trying to get that isolated. All right, so let's do the same thing. We're going to multiply the whole kit and caboodle by xm. So we multiply it by this, and then we multiply it by this, and then by this. Okay, I'm just liking to scribble here. All right, so let's get my stuff back there. xm times, well, let's see if I can, golly, this pen just isn't quite working right. I haven't had any trouble with it before. Okay, plus xm times y over m equals xm times k. All right, so let's go ahead and cancel xxmm. And notice my uh, bottoms disappeared. Okay, then I'm going to distribute that am plus bm plus xy equals xmk. All right, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to solve for m. So that means that I'm going to work at getting all of my m's 
on the same side of the equal sign. So I have these two, but I'm going to subtract that whole thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that over like that. Okay. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit different than the book is, but that's okay. That's pretty normal. I've got an M in each of those, so I'm going to pull an M out, and I'm left with that. Okay, then I'm going to divide both sides by that. Okay. And that ends up being my answer there. If you wanted to, you could change the signs of all those. Oops, that's okay. Make that positive, make the A negative, and make the B negative, and that equals M. Okay. What I did actually, I guess I should explain what I did, how I got that to change the signs. I took this negative and factored it out. Okay, so I just took this negative and moved it outside. All right, and then what that does is I apply it to this, and I get my negative a, my negative b, and my plus xk. And then when I switched it around in the order, so I get my xk in the front, I end up with that there. Okay. It is not wrong to go ahead and leave this negative sign right here, but it doesn't look like it's any cleaner as you go through my mess, but it actually is. Okay, so let's jump to the next example here, and that would be example 55.2. I'm going to make my pen a little bigger. kind of drives me nuts with that little fine tip pen. All right, I've got M, P over C. And I've got D plus E, and this one is not really harder, it's just a little trickier. And I am finding X. So that's the one I'm trying to isolate there. Okay, so again, I multiply the entire thing by the common denominator, CX. CX Alright, so red ink, cancel my C's, cancel my X's, and I have X M P plus C times D plus E equals C X D. Go ahead and distribute that. Okay, so far haven't done anything weird. We'll save that for later. Just kidding. All right, so what am I looking for? I'm solving for x. So I need to get all my x's on the same side. So I'm going to move that over. Okay, and we're going to leave that there. We're going to factor out an x, and I'm left with c. Let's make this look a little prettier. C, D, minus M, P. Then I'm going to divide by that. And that goes away. And a key thing that I want to remind you, you cannot cancel these because this is tied together with this with a plus sign. And this and this are tied together with a minus sign. So because of that, you can't cancel. Now, if they were like this, and this, and everything in here was the same as in there, then yes, you could cancel, because you're canceling the whole kit and caboodle, the whole group there. But with that in that position, you can't cancel. All right, so let's go to the last example with um, abstract equations. We have mx over y plus d over a plus b, and we're saying that equals to p, and we're trying to find 
Sorry about my writing. I'm trying to find A. Ugh, and it's tied with that B. So that one's going to be a little bit trickier. All right, what is also going to be trickier is the uh, common denominator. The common denominator are both of those. So what we're going to do is put both of them together. Okay, I didn't multiply them, I just took both of them. And we have y, a plus b, put those together, and multiply that times d over a plus b. And again, I don't know if the book is doing it this way, but you know me. And some of you get frustrated with that, I'm sure. Alright, so let's cancel that with that. Both of those with both of those. And we end up with mx times a plus b. I just switched those around. No real reason. dy, just so that they're alphabetical. And this here, I'm just going to do py times a plus b. Now I'm going to go ahead and distribute mxa plus mxb plus dy equals PYA plus PYB. Okay, so now I got that whole long thing there. And what am I looking for again? I'm looking for A. Notice that by distributing and doing all that, I got away from the A plus whatever. Now all my A's are multiplied. So I'm going to bring all my A's together and move everything else to the other side. So I'm going to move that over. Okay, so I just got rid of those. Now I'm going to move these two over here. So I've got my PYB that didn't do anything right here. I'm going to subtract my MXB and I'm going to subtract my DY. Okay, now what do I have? I can factor out an A. and then divide. And I'm just going to write my division sign and put that under there and get rid of that and my answer should be A equals this right there. Now let's see if I can squish the next part into a two minute video. Um, example 55.4, find three consecutive integers such as the product of the first and the third is four greater than four times the second. So we have three integers and n plus 1 and n plus 2. They're consecutive, so they're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, one right after the other. Uh, such that the product of the first and the third, n times n plus 2, is 4 greater than 4 times the second. Okay, so we want it to be 4 greater than 4, than four times the second. Well, if they're going to be equal, then this one cannot be 4 greater than this one. So if it is 4 greater, then we have to take that 4 greater away so that now they're equal. Okay, and we do our math, and that's probably the hardest part is to um, figure out what the equation is there. Then you're going to move things around, and you're going to end up with n squared minus 2n minus 8 equals 0 and then you're going to factor it into two binomials and two numbers multiplied together give you two multiplied give you four and we've got an n and an n and a minus and a plus and our n is going to be four and negative two now what we do is we put a four in there or we put our negative two in there and this is the answers that they want. They want to know what those numbers are, not just what the n value is. All right, so that is problem or lesson 55, and I think you'll be okay from there.